YouTube. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing some nails for my son. <clears throat> He's finna um open up a, a new but he have a good idea in mind and he said that he's gonna name it D I B. So I said, oh, okay, I'm gonna make these this dedication nails to him. And it was his birthday, so I hope you enjoy it. I hope you all enjoy it as well. Thank you. Let's see the video. Okay, this is what I was showing you. Um, this I'm using my model hand, and I had to put base nails on first. Then I cut them off uh, to make them look like a short, short nails. And then after that, I had to sand around them and file around the top to make it uh, make get out off that shiny look. And once I get the shiny look off, then I'll be able to put on some tips. And once I put on the tips, then I can finish finish up with the video and put on everything else, especially the top coat. <laughs> And see here, I had to take the, um, I had to do the same as I did on the mannequin hand. Scrape off all that shininess and make it like a dull look. Therefore, the, the uh, glue will stick better on the, on the, on the nails. So it won't be uh, coming off. And back to the video.
as you see here, I was wiping the nails down, getting the dust off of there. So when I get ready to put my uh, acrylic on, it will be dry. And here I will be cutting them to a round shape, round square shape. So let's enjoy the video. After cutting the nails, but clipping them off for the shape, here I would be using the um, the hand file to help shape the nail to you know getting it prepared for the acrylic.
Here I have the flame, uh, money flames. I'm adding to the tip of the of, of the black uh, tips. And after that, I would be doing the letters. And he wanted to call it B-I-B. Best in the best. Best in best. So I'm putting the tips on slowly because it's so easy to these these chips. They will move in a minute. So I have to make sure they don't ball up or wrinkle up. Otherwise, they'll be messed up and you have to constantly take it off, constantly take it off. And then if they get dry in there, you'll be taking off the polish as well. So uh, let's finish the video. I hope you like it. As you see here, I had started, I used the uh, base coat, which I use as a, as a glue. So once I put the base coat on, I end up, I put the letters on, and then I use my hand lamp and put over it for it to uh, dry it out real fast. That way my, my um, letters won't be, you know, like falling off and stuff like that. So that's what I use is the hand lamp. And let's continue with the story.
end with this part. It's almost the end. One, remember when I said once you see the top coat, and this is the top coat, I will leave it on for, I'll put it on a lamp for at least 60 seconds. And if it is still not dry, I'll put it on for another 30 seconds. Let's continue to watch the video. We're down to the end part of the of the, of this project and I want to say I hope you enjoyed it and I will be bringing many more and the more I, I know the more that I uh, practice the better I would get so here's the finishing touches of uh, this project so I hope you enjoyed it thank you